Hello, 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 my dear student. Uh, we will be covering this week, lesson 11, two volumes of prisms and cylinders. Let's see what's the essential question. How does the volume of a prism or cylinder relate to a cross-section parallel to its base? Keep this in your mind. Lesson vocabulary, Cavalry's principle. What is an oblique cylinder and what is an oblique prism? So by the end of this lesson, you will be able to use the properties of prisms and cylinders to calculate their volumes. Now let's go through this lesson. <clears throat> let's see example one here is how do we develop the uh, Cavalry's principle. Now, how are the volumes of two different stacks of index card related? So the first stack forms a right prism and the second stack forms an oblique prism. An oblique prism is a prism such that some or all of the lateral faces are non-rectangles. We'll talk about the height. The height of the stacks are the same. We'll compare the area. Each index card has the same area and represents the rectangular cross section of the prisms. And finally, the volumes of the two stacks are the same because the sums of the areas of the cards are the same. Now, we will do try it, as you can see here. Then we'll talk about Cavalry's principle. Cavalry's principle states that if the if two three-dimensional figures have the same height and the same cross-sectional area at every level, then they have the same volume. Now, volume of prism and cylinder. You know that the volume is the multiplication of the three dimensions. The volume of a prism, regardless what type of prism is it, is the product of the area of the base and the height of the prism. So we should look at the base. What is it? We know how to find the area of uh, 2D figures and we multiply it by the height of the prism. Now, a common misconcept, what is the height of the prism? The height of the prism is the dimension that connects the two parallel bases. We said parallel bases at the beginning. The volume of the cylinder is the product of the area of the base again, but here the base is what is circular. So we will calculate the area of the base, which is the area of the circle, which is pi r square multiplied by the height. So prism and cylinders are similar in finding the volume. Again, area of the base multiplied by the height. Keep an eye on what type of base is it. This is a real world example in which we will find the area of the prism. In this example, we will apply the volumes of prisms to solve problems. Maita has So to summarize our lesson here, uh, right and oblique prisms and cylinders with the same base area and height have the same volume. Whether it was right or it was oblique, you will end up having the same volume. I hope you will understand this lesson as you have understood all the lessons before. Have a good week. Bye-bye.